that and and tough to take your eyes off of Henry. I get it. I mean, this guy yeah. was born in April of 2003, meaning when he was born, the rest of us had just finished learning the lyrics to Lose Yourself. Something about Mom's Spaghetti. It's been a while, but... The hot movie when Henry was born was old school. So we got Big Blue against your My Boy Blue in this one here today. And on the other side of that, that makes it really easy for Evil O just to kind of sneak his way through and just play a solid game and find himself in a close game in the fourth quarter. Wouldn't be surprised if we see a great game going, going through this game. You saw that Raiders offense for Evil O, West Coast offense for Henry, so he will go with Andrew Luck. Makes a lot of sense. But with Evil O, I think his policy is yes on the run, no on the pass. Although he has slid both Devin Hester and Tyree Kill onto his roster if he ever does want to sling one deep. Hester's been a big card these couple days, hadn't he? Yeah, we've seen kind of people swap out that Dante Hall for the Devin Hester, and all that is he gets a little bit more speed. His catching stats aren't as good as Dante Hall's, I don't believe. So that's exactly why. Youth is served, as we mentioned with Henry. Let's go, baby. He Let's and Thutterball are the 16-year-olds. Henry, by the way, is homeschooled, so he is not blowing off classes to be here this week. But he said, you know what, if I was in regular public school, I'd have blown off classes. I'd have been here. You know, Henry, <laughs> Henry's one of my good friends. Trust me, uh, he is not slacking off in school at all. His mom stays on him day in and day out. Unseated the two-time Eagles champion, Figgy, to be here today. And Henry starts on defense. George Kittle motions here for Evil O. Dickerson right away, cutting inside. And I'll get dragged down. Eric Dickerson, again, with the jukebox designation on him. And Evil O had a jukebox on Clinton Portis last week. First carry went for a 76-yard touchdown. This one went for six yards. No. Again, Kittle, that tight end motions left. Dickerson sliding, stretching, and he gets by Tillman. He's got that first down. You know, something I'm seeing early on is Henry's not as prepared for this, this offense that I thought he was. He's not able to shoot that halfback dive in the backfield. And if Evil O's are able to run that offense, run that play the entire game, Henry's going to be in a bit of trouble on the defensive side of the ball. I've heard you say that Henry is very good at stopping the stretch and the dive. I know you ran into that personally. And, and just to let people know, I don't want to get too deep into this, Mo, because I know you're not the kind that wants to brag, but in that Madden Classic three months ago, you talk about a, a classic game, you against Henry, as Dickerson is thwacked in the backfield here. That was a 32-29 thriller that I'm sure both you guys will remember for a very long time. My man Mo was down a touchdown with two minutes left. Tony Pollard tied it. Henry went for it fourth and six in his own 25, and Mo sacked him. Marched it close and walked it off with a field goal. Memorable. Yeah, that was a great game. You know, I really wanted that game. Um, he actually, it was a double elimination tournament, and I hadn't lost all tournament. And we were in the in the finals, and he actually beat me the first game. And then in the second game, I found myself down. He fought his whole way through. I luckily came up with a stop to win the game. Did you say to yourself, hey, wait a minute. This guy's 16 years old, and he's hanging with me just play for play. As Dickerson will rumble right uh -oh. and then get decked, he lost the football and recovers. Well, with Henry, I've, I, I've been playing with him all year, and, and even going, in, going into last year, I've been playing with him. So I knew he was very, very good at the game. So not at all. I'd never really thought about his age because I talked to him every day, and you would never be able to tell he was 16 years old having talked to him. You know, he's such a poised and mature kid. You know, he's not your average typical 16-year-old. 16-year-old kid that beat an orthopedic surgeon in the club championship to even get here today. In fact, beat him up 38-19. to 19. And we get a timeout here. So early adjustments, what, what, what are you looking at here, Mo? You know, I think Evil might have came out in his run play a little bit too early on that last set of downs, and, and that's, why, that's why we've seen the fumble by Pat Tillman. Uh, I would think that we're going to see an audible here. I don't expect him to uh, just come out and run halfback dive like he's been doing. On a third and six. Again, Dickerson is the running back here. Evil O. Well, hand it off, and there's Dickerson stretching and getting that first down. And he actually wobbles and stays inbound. So it's already five carries for ED. Yeah, you know, that was a really good run call. It looked like Henry could have made the play with this user, but a little bit of poor stick work right there. He ran into the back of one of his own defenders, and that's why his, his safety got bumped off the, off the pursuit and just an easy first down for Evil O. 
Tom Brady, by the way, the quarterback being used by Evil O, the guy who matched up against Eli Manning in a memorable Super Bowl 10 years back since we're talking Giants. And again, Dickerson can't quite turn the corner. And the run defense stepping up right away here for young Mr. Henry. Yeah, I'd like to see Evil O audible, about, audible around a little bit more, make Henry think on the defensive side of the ball. You're getting really predictable with the halfback dive and stretch combination. I would like, I'd like to see him go to a different formation, even go back to that same formation where he ran that RPO, bu RPO bubble. Dickerson trying to muscle through. It's going to be another third down. And remember, Henry on defense running with the Dolphins here. Probably wise to have loaded up with Tillman and Palomaler facing this run game, right? Yeah, exactly. And, you know, I think I think we might have to see a run here just because he is on the brink of field goal range. Not quite there, I don't think. So he's going to have to get a couple yards. He doesn't really want to pass the ball in this situation. It is Dickerson running. Dickerson smashing forward. He's got that first down. And a clock-consuming first-quarter drive. That's important, too, right? Play some keep away from Henry. Yeah, and I think Henry has to make an adjustment when Evil O is audible into that, that, that RPR bubble. It's just a different formation, different look. look he's sent it. It's making his linebacker go out and guard the wide receiver. Not a matchup you love anyway, so I would try to baseline my defense, keep those linebackers inside the box, because that stretch is just having way too much space on the right side. How different would this first quarter be had the fumble been recovered, right, after Tillman jarred it loose? Oh, this, this game would be completely different, but, you know, that would have been a little bit of a, a fortunate play for Henry anyways. Another handoff, Brady to Dickerson, and he fights his way free! Eric Dickerson, touchdown! And that's why he's the best running back in the game, just fights off that linebacker. You know, I thought he was tackled up, wrapped up, but Eric Dickerson, he's going to do different things that you don't see from those Chris Johnson. You know, he's a power running back. He's going to run through those tackles a lot of the time. And again, so much for the meta of we're going to see the ball in the air. We saw throughout the, the first hour today just a lot of stampeding run plays. Yeah, I expected Evil O to run the ball quite a bit. I think on this side of the ball with Henry, though, you're going to see him air it out with that Andrew Luck dashing dead eye and escape artist. There's a 28-yard touchdown for the Hall of Fame Ram Eric Dickerson. A pretty fortunate play there for Evo. It looked like he was stuffed in the backfield, breaks free, and gets, gets a hold of one of those 10-cap players that Henry has, just a 60 overall, not <laughs> able to make that tackle. Really, really fortunate play, though, for Evo. And before we get all kinds of tweets about it, I know Eric Dickerson was a Colt as well, and a Raider and a Falcon, by the way, too, down at the very end. 13,000 yards of rushing in the NFL, and Evil O has used him just fine here so far in a fast-moving first quarter. And it looks like we're going to see Evil O run that same defense that we've seen Stevie J run against Skimbo yesterday. Look for this to call, give some, Henry some trouble. You know, this isn't a defense that he's nor normally playing against, and it's really, really difficult to play against this defense if you haven't seen it before. Henry racking up the points along the way to get here today. We mentioned he scored 38 in the Eagles Club Championship. Got Tyree Kill on the outside. Andrew Luck upfield. Andrew Luck first down. Got that dashing dead eye, got the escape artist, got the identifier, he's got it loaded up. How can Evil O contain escape artists? What do you what do you do? I think you gotta put a spy out there. It doesn't look like he has the personnel really to, to, to match up with that Andrew Luck though. They spent a lot of cap on cornerbacks. He's got Denzel Ward, Marlon Humphrey, who's been huge in this tournament. Patrick Sertain is back there for him. He does have a guy named Lawrence Taylor on that defense. And I think he may have made a critical error. I don't think Josh Shaw is supposed to be playing. That's just a 10-cap player, very slow player. I don't think he's supposed to be in the game right now. I wonder if he messed up his manual subs, and that's why he's having to user him. Come here. And Luck gets buried in the backfield. Just as we were watching Shaw trying to drop back and run around in coverage there. Well, the defense is stepping up here early for Evil O. Yeah, that was, a, that was just a mistake by Henry. He could have easily thrown the ball away. It looked like he switched to a runner for no reason right there. Press that left trigger to switch to the runner, try to juke out a defender. It's just not going to work in that situation. You got me keeping an eye on Shaw now, too. Because, again, Henry is so pass happy. We'll see if he can find a matchup he likes and take advantage. He's got him stuck on his defensive tackle. He goes underneath to Hester here. And, you know, Hester just doesn't have the best, the best catch in traffic stats, and that's why he dropped that ball. You know, maybe if he had the Marvin Harrison over there, he probably comes down with that. 
Brings up a third and 21. And Luck setting his feet, goes across his body. This time Hester's got it, but boy, you've got fourth and very long still now. So what's your call on fourth and 16? It looks like he's gonna punt. I probably would have scrambled with the quarterback right there. It looked like he would have been able to pick up 10 to 15 yards and it would have made this fourth down very manageable. But Evolo with all the advantage right now, up by seven and getting the ball back. Evil O has got some evil D working right now. The offense for Henry, which is supposed to be high grade. He is revving the engine. He is not getting down the track. So up 7-0. Evil O back to work. Brady handing off to Dickerson and nothing there. Now we see that Keith Bullock making plays. And again, a fascinating matchup here, Mo, because, you know, I mean, it, it sounds funny to say that somebody's taking on a challenger less than, than half the other guy's age. Evil O could drop, and I could be your father on Henry. He'd be absolutely right. 33 years old against 16 years old. The second and nine handoff. Dickerson trying to stretch and gets cut down. So what do you like on third and pretty long? I would audible back to that wing slot formation. You know, he's coming out on that wing flex, single back wing flex. That's where the two wide receivers are bunched up to the left. I would like to see him spread those two wide receivers out. It looks like Henry doesn't really have anything for that. You know, I, I don't really understand why he's staying in this wing flex close. I know it looks good and he's picking up a few yards, but I think he could really bounce it outside with this wing slot. It looks like that's what he's going to do. But Henry makes an adjustment to his defense. You don't see that linebacker following anymore. There's Dickerson stretching right. He does turn the corner and get the first down. Well, already 86 yards rushing in the first half using Dickerson. Henry's user just a little bit questionable right there. You know that you got to get out to the outside a little bit faster right there. Just making it way too easy, too easy for Evil O right now. Josh Lewin with Sirius Mo, who was the winner of the first and the most recent MCS Major. The Madden 20 Classic, hard for, a very hard fought win over this precocious 16 year old Henry that we're talking about. Dickerson able to kind of swivel his way free until he finds Troy P. But get us very close to the two minute warning. Evil is really comfortable right now on offense, though. You know, he's not really ever getting hit in the backfield. If you're Henry, you've got to be more aggressive. You're just sitting back in coverage. You've got to send those linebackers on kind of a, a rush, you know, ru a run blitz. You know what I mean? You're not really trying to stop the pass. You're not trying to get to the quarterback. You need to get to that running back. Tom Brady, the 14 time Pro Bowler, is the quarterback, but hardly puts it in the air for Evil O. Second in rushing stats of the 32 players in the EA Majors here. He's 31st in passing. So he does keep it on the ground, does not quite get there for the first down. And if I'm Evil O, I would go to that wing slot formation every time because Henry is so uncomfortable whenever he audibles that formation. This wing flex close isn't really doing it. You know, he's picking up a couple yards, but every time he's in that wing flex, the wing flex, wing slot, excuse me, he, he's got a great chance to pick up a lot of yards almost every single time. Don't be surprised to see Henry blow this run up in the backfield. Clock control, a big deal here in the first half for Eve Olo. He's got it down to a buck 25 left already here. It's only been one possession for the high octane Henry. It's got to be a dive. On third and three. Not able to get there, so now what? Yeah, a good time out by Henry right there. You know, Evo is probably not. If I was evil, I would punt this ball, you know, because there's no real benefit to going for it. You're not really close to field goal range, and you're running the ball a whole lot, so you're going to have to burn your last time out even if you convert here. You know, I don't really love the call to go for. He's making the game a little bit easier on Henry than it needs to be. Well, if he doesn't get it here, you have gifted an opportunity for Henry to get right back in it late in the second quarter. Big time fourth and two call coming up. And if he passes, look for him to go to that George Kittle on a corner out. But he looks like he might run the ball here. Kittle, one of two 85s in the game right now. He's the one to the left. And there is the run. Dickerson is stuffed. And you just can't do that versus Henry. You know, I really, I think Evil if he punched this ball, he's got a great chance in this game. But now he's put, set Henry up almost in field goal range already with a lot of clock and two timeouts to work with. Got that secure tackler on Ryan Shazier and it paid off, huh? And you know, going for that, you know, it makes the makes offense so much more simple for Henry, where it looked like he was really struggling, but now he's already found himself in field goal range. And he's, he's got it out, got a man. 
Down got Hester, but he is out of bounds. It looked like Evil O accidentally ran commit right there. If you're Henry, no reason to pass lead outside. He's wide open. Just give it to him. We're down to 37 seconds left. And you kept that down the middle of the fairway. You're talking about a 7-7 game. Luck loading up, flings it. And he's got the tight end Swaim diving out of bounds. You know, great uh, mind right there to dive out of bounds. Presence of mind to get out of bounds right there. Could have easily been tackled in bound. That tight end isn't very fast. And Henry's feeling a lot more confident on offense. You can just tell how quick he's calling his plays. The pace of the game has picked up quite a bit. It's wide open. He's got him. He's got Barner, who will burn his way down to the 10 and knocked out of bounds with 26 seconds to go. So we've seen Swaim and Barner catching footballs, not Harrison, not Hill. Yep, and, and we see this, we see 26 seconds, but this is plenty of clock to work with. He has his full playbook at his disposal right here. See Palomalu creeping up on defense here for Evil O. Hester with the X over him. He's the one motioning, going left to right. Luck looking. With time, threads attempt. It is incomplete. And that was a bad read right there. He had the slant coming from right to left, coming wide open. Forced to throw into Marvin Harrison right there. Luckily, that wasn't picked off. Wouldn't be surprised to see if we see that same play call come right back. Got the wheel available, I guess, here with Barner. But you got a hill pushed out wide right. Marvin Harrison, part of that bunch on the left, and motioning out. On second and ten. Luck surveys. Luck throwing out of bounds. And the evil O defense continues to be the story. Yeah, but the problem is, is he just gifted Henry a field goal. Even if Henry gets stopped right here, he's probably given him three points than he, more than he would have got in this half anyways. Just a really questionable decision for Evil O to go for it on that fourth down. If you hold a Henry to three or seven through two quarters, though, you've done something, right? Oh, yeah, for sure, but there's only been two possessions. Go, go, go. Kill, kill, kill. With 15 seconds left in the half, uh -oh. Luck ends up. Oh, Bullock. That might be for six. Keith Bullock, the former Titan, will take it and zigzag and get dragged down with seven seconds on the clock. So you're going to end up pitching a shutout of Henry here through two quarters. And he forced that in there. There's, that was never going to get completed. Evil was on that the whole way. Very, very questionable by Henry. And I don't love to see Henry in this 3-4 odd in the half. This could easily give up a big play right here. Probably try to see him to get outside and on the left right here with the stretch. Get you an update of Techers and User God very soon here as we uh -oh. get towards the end of the half, but not before Dickerson finds a burst. And a spin! Go on. And ED Open looking up. for the TD! There goes Get Dickerson! Touchdown! Oh! Henry! Evil O gotcha! And it'll be 14-0 with triple zeros on the clock. Wow, what a sprint to the finish line there to end the second quarter. I cannot believe he came out in 3-4 odd, made it very difficult on himself, and, you know, he just doesn't make the user tackle with Troy Palomalu. That's going to be a one-on-one -on -one for a touchdown every single time with Eric Dickerson. Troy P spun around, and a 69-yard burst at the halftime gun. 14-0 Evil O has the jump on Henry. And now, what about user God and Techers? Let's peek in on that one with Nick. Hey, thanks a lot, Josh. What an exciting game on the main stage. Techers and User God facing off. Techers coming from the UK. His defense stepping up big early. It feels like he's in firm control. Yeah, it's been all Techers. Great defense, and he's been using this uh, Eric Dickerson on offense so much. He's got over 150 yards on the ground right now with Dickerson. As he doesn't even have an ability on Eric Dickerson. Yeah, it's just doesn't. the pure talent. Yeah, just the talent. He's got the max. Eric Dickerson look phenomenal. This, this human joystick. Hasn't done much except this one run from uh, Devin Hester, but Techers has honestly done a pretty decent job against it in that wildcat. It is all Techers. It was 14-7. He gave it to Dickerson one more time to find the end zone. How does User God get back in this game? He's got to find some sort of run defense. Techers just scored again, 28-7. User God got to find some defense if yeah. he wants a chance. And Techers, by the way, just scored one more time. It is 28-7. Yeah. But how about that Henry match, by the way? Are you surprised to see yeah, Henry? Yeah, that, that play last that last play by Evil O was insane right there. Big big way to go up 14-0 at halftime. I mean, Evil O is no easy person to go oh, yeah. against. Guys, don't forget that we have the VOD up on the uh, Madden Competitive Gaming YouTube channel. You're not going to want to miss it as we take a look inside the Snickers Lounge. 
These guys are locked into what a game between Henry and Evil O. The second half should be entertaining. Let's throw it back to Josh and Mo. All right, thanks so much, guys. And yeah, at a 14 nothing halftime score, remember it was 7 nothing. was supposed to stay 7 nothing, but then there was the Bullock pick and then the 69-yard touchdown run at the very end there. And as Nick told you, you can check out every game. Subscribe to Madden Competitive Gaming on YouTube. And you can wind back and relive all of this. Boy, it's been a just a run to glory here so far for Evil O, the 33-year-old, second oldest competitor in the field, taking on the second youngest guy in the field. All right, so now Henry, and I'm going to turn to you, Mo, to find out on what's only going to be his third possession here, what he's got to do to get back in it immediately. Nothing open for him downfield. He's just got to play smart. You know, this is somebody that was the widely chosen favorite to win this NF this entire NFC side. So, you know, finding himself down 14-0 versus a veteran player, don't be surprised to see Evil O sneak away with this win with a two-possession lead in the second half. Remember, There's yeah, I was going to say, Mo, yesterday with, with Stevie J getting the jump on Skimbo, right? And Skimbo found a way. And now Luck finding his way free. He gets a whack from Bullock, who's been everywhere here for <laughs> Evil O. But... Just seems like sometimes the savvy veterans, right, even though this veteran is 16 years old, they make an adjustment, right? They, they find a way to, to get back and get to where they need to be. Yeah, this game is far from over, but, you know, Henry has made a lot of mistakes in this game to get this game to 14 to nothing. You know, we've seen the run commit by Evolo where he had a wide-open touchdown. He passed led outside for no reason at all. And, you know, that could be the difference in the game. Yeah, those final 20 seconds of that first half as Luck tucks it and runs, and he's got the first down. Yeah, you make a great point. I mean, he had Hester. Couldn't keep it in bounds for the touchdown. Then he throws the pick on the goal line to Bullock. And then the 69-yard surprise right at the halftime horn. The run from Eric Dickerson. And all that is is preparation. You've got to be in quarter three deep right there. Sometimes when you don't get the proper reps online, that's what will happen. You'll, you play a little bit questionable. Uh-oh, he's got him. He's got Slayton the tight end. And Henry's back in it. Boy, and on a team that's got Hester and Harrison and Hill, the Triple H's. How about Jeff Swaim being the guy that finally gets him some points? I think if you asked Henry before the tournament how many touchdowns Jeff Swaim would score, he would say zero, you know, but you're, right now you find yourself down 14-0. you got to find a way to get somebody the ball for a touchdown, and that's exactly what he did. Now take a look at it again. He had a long time to to find what he wanted, and he found it. Yeah, that Josh Shaw, you got to guard one or the other. He's not fast enough to guard both, you know, the quarterback scramble and the tight end, so he left the tight end, leaving him wide open. So now a statement's got to be made the other way, right? If you want to grab momentum back, you need some points here if you're evil O. Yeah, you got to. You know you can't get stopped on this drive. You got to get three points minimum. Keeps on running with Dickerson, and Henry's ready for it. Evil O, remember, two-time Giants Club champion. His third EA major, part of the EMB crew that's had a lot of success. That's a crew that's, what, about 100 members strong, right? Oh, for sure. They got a lot of people over there, but, you know, they are always prepared for anything. And you see Henry with that 7-7-3 tag out there for suburban Chicago, even though he's rocking the, the Eagle stuff here very proudly as the Eagles Club champion. Dickerson stretching and turning and nothing's there. It's going to be third and very long. And a guy that doesn't like to pass might need to now. We've seen a lot of questionable stick work on the defensive side of the ball from Henry, but that's a great tackle right there. Could have easily been spun out right there, but he goes, he makes an aggressive tackle with Tillman, realizing that he can't give up any more yards. And now he finds himself in a position where Evo is likely going to have to pass. And that's exactly how you want to play. Remember, he's got the tackle supreme on both Tillman and Palomalu. Talking about a Henry. Kittle, the tight end in motion. In a 14-7 game, the division semifinal here at Pizza Hut Stadium. You got to contain this stretch, though. Great tackle. And he does. Well, it's a great jump up. Huh? Got the corners coming up there. And now on fourth and 12, oh, momentum is all with Henry. Yeah, he's going to have to punt the ball here. 
For Evil O, though, you know, you just couldn't get anything going on that drive. I would have liked to have seen him go right back to that formation where he broke out for the 69-yard touchdown before half just to see if it's going to work again. You know, Henry's been right. Henry ran that 3-4 defense at the end of the half, and he gets a touchdown out of it. I would have came right back to it, tried to bop, pop another one out for a touchdown just to see what happened. But you're going to have to punt the ball right here. You know, you don't love it, but you're going to probably go into the fourth quarter here with a lead versus one of the best players in the world, and that's all you can ask for. I'm wondering about the psychology again, though, Mo, because with Evil Lowe, he has yet to get over the hump in these majors, right? Always close, never has taken the big leap forward. He was up 14 nothing. now it's been shaved to 14-7, now he's got a punt. So yeah. is he inside his own head a little bit right now? You know, you don't really hate punting in this situation. You know, it's 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 not obviously ideal, but you're going to have a chance to win this game, walk off this game with one last drive. If you, even if Henry scores right here, he's likely going to score going into the fourth quarter, and you're already a run-heavy player. All you need to do is find one run play to work against this, this new defense that Henry's running, and you'll be able to milk this clock away and walk away with a victory. Evil O runs that Packers defense, and he hardly blitzed out of it against Ja in the club championship game. Here goes Henry with Luck looking. And Luck, ooh, in a traffic there, caught first down. And this is one of the great things about Henry. He's not your typical West Coast player where he's just going to run the same plays over and over against any defense. You know, he, this is a defense he hasn't seen before, but he's going to freestyle out this offense as good as anyone. Trying to get a man free downfield. Nothing yet. So Luck will tuck and run and slide just a little shy of that first down. That's six times that Henry has had to just kind of tuck it and run with Andrew Luck. It's a second and three. Evil is going to have to put a spy out there. Henry's going to take advantage of that every single time. Luck in trouble, and Luck is down. Looks like he just got a free rush right there. A little bit of a fortunate play by, by Evil o right there, but that's something you need when you're playing somebody as good as Henry. Well, the old spice pitch man making him sweat a little bit right there, huh? Montez sweat. As we get ready to throw up the fours and go play the final five minutes. Ryan Tyler's in there in that Snickers Players Lounge. Everybody peeking in. That's Henry's uncle that we're talking about. Is that a nervous uncle? Is that a, is that a nervous look or is that a confident look? You know, I think he's probably a little bit nervous, but, you know, Henry's one of the best players in the world. I wouldn't be surprised to see him go on and convert this third down and put together a solid drive. But on the other end of that, Evil O is a veteran. He's been playing the game longer than I have, and he's going to be prepared for whatever Henry has to do in this fourth quarter. Evil O's wife is a teacher back in New York teaching kids that are really not that much younger than, <laughs> than Henry. And here we go on third and 10. Luck flings it Ooh. and couldn't quite get enough mustard on it. Looked like he had the curl route wide open. That might have, that probably should have been picked off, honestly, and it would have went for six. Questionable read there by Henry, but it, it works out kind of. He's in a fourth and manageable. Yeah, fourth and five from near midfield. Trailing 14 to seven. No pressure yet. Andrew Luck has a seam, has the first down. Past the 40, move those chains. Seven carries, 70 yards for Andrew Luck. It looked like he could have went to Swaim up the middle again. Pride doesn't want to risk the overthrow though. Just kind of picks up the first down, keeps his drive alive. Right back at it, Henry. Looking, uh -oh. loading and firing and a coverage caught by Hester. Really fortunate play there by Henry. Probably should have been picked off. And we see Henry using this two clock feature. He just doesn't want to give Evil O any more time than he already has because he's going to be running the ball. He wants to keep the, sh the clock short. Already taking it under three minutes as luck will look and look too long. You know, Henry had his running back wide open. He just wasn't confident in it, though. He had him wide open for a touchdown. Evil O getting a sack from Lawrence Taylor in the longtime Giants fan. Doesn't have time to smile about that. He's got a game to win. More pressure, Luck escapes, he is shy of the 10. And he's gonna bring up third down, third and 10 coming up. Henry's players are dead tired right now. Look for them not to get open on the rocks that they would normally beat man, man press on. See if he can get it off before the two minute warning or not. If I was Henry, I would just go to the two minute warning, but it doesn't look like he's going to. Looking on third and 10, Luck firing end zone, oh! and it's picked off! It's Palomalu! Oh, I just got stuck in the first, let's get out of here. Wow, what a turn of events right there. That ball hung in the air tantalizingly. 
And it looked like he had the post wide open, but just wasn't looking for it. Throws the corner out, kind of forces it in there. The Palomalu pick, that could be the play of the game. And now it's all about milking some clock here. Evolos one first down away from winning this game. And unseating the favored Henry. Well, there's the first stop you need to make right there. It's going to be second and 11 and a timeout taken. But the Troy P takeaway, the biggest thing to look at so far in this one, in a surprisingly low scoring game at 14 to 7. You know, that's just him being a, a younger player. You know, he doesn't have a lot of reps versus people in this situation. You know, that, that touchdown before half is a crucial part of this game. Really just a free seven points for Evo. He's never expecting a score right there, and you give him seven points. That's the difference in the game right now. And you go back towards the end of that second quarter. Hester open, out of bounds. The Bullock pick at the goal line. The Dickerson Ooh. big run, and well, there's a big hit on Dickerson there. Great stick work from Henry, who's not done yet here. If I were Evil, I would just run the ball here. Run the ball and punt. You don't need to pass the ball. It's going to be really tough to stop Henry if he has one of those timeouts left. Just make him burn that last, t last timeout. Whether you get the first down or not doesn't really matter too much. An incomplete here is way worse than, than just running the ball and making him use that timeout. Henry got stuck. It's going to be, it's going to be a conversion. Uh oh, it's picked oh. off. Oh, you you called it. And well, what a turn. Oh, Jackson six. brings it to the 10, to the 5. He's in. There was no reason for him to pass the ball right there. There's so many more bad things can happen than good. That you got to just run the ball, get Henry's last time out. You've been playing phenomenal defense, and now you have to go down and drive the entire field to win this game. Boy, that William Jackson card has been big this week, huh? He made the pick, took it in. And we have a fresh tub of Play-Doh here that we can open up. It's 14-14. After the interception that you thought swung the pendulum the other way, the Henry got intercepted replay. Mode. Henry got stuck on his defensive tackle. I probably would have just thrown right at the defensive tackle. No reason to try to make that force that play down the field. And we got one happy uncle out there in the players' lounge. The Palomalu pick moments before that, but that's now it's trumped instead by the pick from William Jackson. So now with a minute 35 to go, Evilo going to that stretch left that he that he broke before half on. Can Henry contain it? Yeah, just playing bumper cars here to score him forward for a, a little bit. There's 23 carries for Dickerson. I thought he might have broke right there. If you're Henry, all you do got to do is keep him in bounds, make him use those timeouts. He will eventually be put in a tough situation here. Oh, he's going to go for a little misdirection here. He's going to run the stretch right. Just trying to get into field goal range if he can kill enough clock. That's one way to win it. Walk it off with a Chris Boswell field goal. Dickerson stretching, Dickerson! Knocked out of bounds. That's an ideal for play for Henry right there. It looked like Evolo was gonna play that really smart if he got tackled in bounds before the first down. He probably would have just clocked it down and just made it where Henry couldn't get the ball. But going out of bounds, if Henry can get a stop right here on third down, he's gonna get the ball back with some time to score before the end of the game. Now Giants have won Super Bowls, scoring 17 points before. Can they win this game with 17 uh -oh. or more? Dickerson! Ooh. On a third down shimmy, that's huge, and a timeout taken. Not quite in field goal range, though. Going to need about seven or eight yards. And if you're Henry, I would try to save that last timeout so, so you can ice the kicker. you got to stand up and get a stop right here, though. Field goal range, got to hit, the, what, the 35 or 36, you figure? Dick oh! oh, trying to hurdle, couldn't quite get it done. When you see those hurdles, those auto hurdles, and they get hit mid-tackle, that's a lot of times when they let the ball go. 43-yard line now. Dickerson hunting it for the 40-yard line, and he stops shy. All right, so now with 22 seconds left, you're not quite in field goal range. You're about five yards away. You might have to go to a pass play right here. You only have one timeout. Tyree Kill is available, hasn't used him all game. He is going to pass the ball right here. We've seen him walk off the game versus Viva Electrify in that same formation. And Henry has to use his last timeout. That could be crucial if Evolo only picks up five yards. He's not going to be able to ice the kicker any longer. Wow, take a breath here. <laughs> it's tough. It's Reset, tough to right? take a breath. <laughs> Reset your brain. A third and seven. And again, really all you need is about five yards here, right? To, to feel like, okay, I'm going to try that field goal to walk it off. But if I was Evolo, I would run the inside zone right here. I wouldn't pass the ball. You sure can't take a sack, right? You cannot take a sack. Look for the corner out here to George Kittle. He's put him on a post. 22 seconds left, tie game. 
A semifinal here in the NFC East. I love the inside zone call. It looks like there's going to be some space on that left side. Henry's going to have to shoot down to make the play himself. Still 10 on the play clock to think about exactly what you want. And it's Dickerson. Nope. He gets thumped. And an interesting call here to put it mildly. You've got a fourth and five, and this would be a 57-yard field goal from Chris Boswell. This is going to be the last play of the regulation. He's not going to be able to make this field goal, so this will be a touchdown shot right here. All right, so who are you looking at then? Who's going to try to spring open for him? He cannot make this field goal. I if I was Henry, I would set up in a return on a return set because he's he's going to have an opportunity to return this if it's not if it's a short field goal. And he is going to go for the field goal at, at 57 yards. Now. Most guys just kind of go random with a kicker. Boswell's pretty mid-pack. Can he walk it off at 57 out of Brady's hold? It is. Wow! Short, you know, he had no chance of making that. And Henry's going to get the ball first in overtime to have a chance to walk this off in overtime. How close was that, Mo? Because as it, as it hit up there, I'm thinking it's going to go over by a foot. It was under instead by about a foot and a half, it looked like. Yeah, you know, I knew Chris Boswell just didn't have the leg, especially in this indoor stadium there, so there's no win. I didn't think he would be able to make it. And, you know, now Henry's got a chance in overtime to walk off here in a game that looked like he had absolutely no chance to win at all. I'm telling you, that kick was dead center. And just... Barely didn't have the legs. So now, Henry, and again playing the NFL overtime rules, right? You, you get your six here, and that's it. The 16-year-old going to work. And getting rid of it here to live to tell the tale. Smart play just to get rid of it right there. Wouldn't be surprised if we see Swaim up that, up that seam again, though. It looks like he's kind of waiting on that. He just needs to have a little bit more time where he has the, the opportunity to scramble with his quarterback and make that user come down, and then we'll see Swaim get hit over the top. But the question is, will he ever have time to do it? Having sweated out the missed field goal at the horn, it was barely short. Henry's going to try to take a shot here to Tyree Kill. Look for the post over the middle. If he can get some extra time. Can he walk it off with a 70-yard touchdown? Now it's going to be a run instead, oh. and he threads his way free for the first down. Really fortunate play right there. I cannot believe Henry didn't get down with his quarterback. That was very risky. If Keith Bullock's able to make the tackle on Andrew Luck, he's probably going to let that ball go. Remember, Evil Lowe has been so close so often. He's just not gotten over the hump in these majors. And he's taken a great player to overtime. Now it has to play some great D. Luck. Crushed. And, you know, you're in overtime now, so if I was Henry, I would burn one of those timeouts. Get your players fully energized so they're able to run those routes extremely crispy. You know, this is a little bit of the rookie factor. You know, he's a very young kid. He's not used to playing these important games, so he's kind of just rushing himself a bit. Luck flings it to Harrison, who's been quiet. Doesn't get the first down. It's going to be third and short, so what do you like here for Henry? I love that Henry burned that timeout. You know, get, get your best play out there. Don't rush right here, and I love that route combination. I wouldn't be surprised if we seen him go right back to it. All about the pass game is Henry. And on third and four, getting pressured, finds his man, it's Hester! And Devin Hester's past the 30 in field goal range now and sniffing a win. Yeah, it looks like Henry's kind of putting it together right now on offense, but is Lawrence Taylor going to be able to shoot in and make one of those plays? He has that pass, pass rush elite. He should be able to make a play here soon. There you go. He's got Swaim, who has stood up at the 15. And remember, if you hit the field goal, the game's not over. If you stick it in the end zone, it is. And we've seen Henry make a few mistakes down in this red zone. Turn it over twice in the red zone. So he's going to have to dial up a play right here. Yeah, Bullock was the savior early for Eve alone near the goal line. Luck looking. Luck running. Out of bounds. I thought he was going to force it there for a second, Josh. Luckily for Henry, he doesn't. He holds onto the ball with Andrew Luck. You know, this is a, this is a phenomenal game right now. Somebody's going to step up and make a play down here. Hester and Harrison wide out left. Hester motioning. He's been a big player for a lot of guys in this tournament. Luck. 
will flip it out of bounds again, third and eight. All right, so now with a timeout taken by Henry, you like the timeout? I do, but the problem is you cannot force anything down here. You've gotten back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back stops on, on defense. Count on your defense in this situation. Do not force anything in the red zone. Back goes Luck. Trying to end it if he can get in the end Got zone. Him. Diving catch, he did it! Oh, Henry! And that's a fight right there. This game should have been over. Evolo couldn't get the first down to ice it. Ends up throwing a pick six. Great defense by Evolo all game, but Henry just kind of ma manages the drive and over time to walk it off. Remember the field goal miss at the horn, just short. And then on they roll into overtime where Marvin Harrison gets in the end zone and makes it a 20 to 14.